Hello everybody, it's so good to see you yet again. My name is Elliot and it is my privilege to be able to bring you this week's midweek motivation. I believe I have something that could be a game changer for us because a lot of times we can run around life thinking that there's no difference between feeling grateful and expressing that gratitude. But what I wanna show you from from the Bible today, actually it's a story about Jesus himself that gratitude unexpressed leaves a gap in our life. Because a lot of us can run around life and just feel, oh, oh of course, like I'm grateful for, for my spouse. Of course I'm grateful for my parents. Of course I'm grateful for my mom and dad. I'm grateful for my job. Uh, and we claim that we feel that, but Oftentimes what happens is if we don't express that, it can come across as being ungrateful. Isn't that wild? I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove it to you. You might be thinking, well, that's, that's just crazy. It's not, it's not crazy. And I can read you all about this here in Luke 17. Check this out. The heading goes like this, Luke 17, starting in verse 11, the heading goes like this, 10 healed of leprosy. Maybe you've heard this story before, maybe you haven't, but it's pretty short, so I'm just gonna read the whole thing, and it goes exactly like this, starting in verse 11, Luke 17. As Jesus continued toward Jerusalem, he reached the border between Galilee and Samaria. As he entered the village there, 10 lepers stood at a distance. Now there's a lot I could talk about here, but I'm gonna have to refrain, all right? I'm gonna get to my point. They stood at a distance crying out, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. He looked at them and said, go show yourself to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed of their leprosy. Great story, right? Oh wait, it's not over. One of them, when he saw that he was healed, came back to Jesus shouting, praise God. He fell to the ground at Jesus' feet, thanking him for what he had done. This man was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, didn't I heal 10 men? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? And Jesus said to the man, stand up and go. Your faith has healed you. Now, what I want to pose to you is this. I'm betting that all 10 guys felt grateful. I'm, obviously, I, I, I would say, I'm making an assumption here, I doubt none of them, I'm willing to bet my next paycheck, or something, that none of them, when they were healed, thought to themselves, could have done that myself. I didn't need Jesus to do that for me. No, they all felt grateful. It's, it's assumed that they all felt grateful. They were grateful. They got to go back to their jobs. They go, got to go back to their homes. They got to go back to their families. They got their whole lives back. They, they went from living in a leper colony to living back at home. Of course, they felt grateful. But only one out of the 10 came back to Jesus to say, to just, to just express it, praise God, to, to give glory to God. Only one came back and actually said thank you and expressed that gratitude. And what was Jesus' response? Where, where are the other nine? Didn't I heal 10? But where are those other nine? That Jesus is teaching us that we should, all of us, when we have a feeling of gratitude when something amazing happened to us and there's more amazing things that happen to us on a daily basis than we give credit for. Eating today, for example. Not having leprosy, for example. We can be grateful to that and not just feel grateful but express that gratitude. And the most amazing part is this, is at the very, very end, verse 19, Jesus said to the man, stand up and go, your faith has healed you. Depending on what translation you're reading at, I'm reading out of the, the NLT, it's the one I, I like to read uh, just for personal reading the most, but some of the translations, I've read many, some of them say, your faith has made you whole. 
The Greek word there is sozo, made you whole, healed you, saved you, made you complete, brought you salvation. That what's being taught to us and what I want to leave you with is this. When we have unexpressed gratitude in our hearts, we are not whole. We're not complete. There's something missing. There's a gap in our lives when we have gratitude in our heart that is not expressed in our actions, in our words, in our, in our attitude. When we have unexpressed gratitude, there's something missing. Try this. Be motivated to go out and do this. When you feel grateful for something, express it. Usually it's to the person, to the person who's, who's done something for you, who's helped you, who's, who's paid you a compliment, or who, who, has, who has helped you get out of a tough spot, whatever it is. Express that gratitude and see, taste and see that what God says is true, that you will be made whole, you will be made complete, that those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. Express that gratitude today. Go out and express it. Do something about it. Say something about it. Don't let a grateful heart go unspoken. That's all I have for you today. I hope you were blessed. If this blessed you in any way, shape, or form, go ahead and share this. Comment with someone who you think would like to hear it, anything like that. Go ahead and, and, and spread the love here. Um, Spread love, not fear. It's all good. I'm praying for you today. In fact, let me just pray for you before you go. Father, in the name of Jesus, just so grateful and thankful for every single person listening to the sound of my voice right now that they would be encouraged, Lord. I pray that over their life. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. We love you. And we'll see you again very soon.